The color profile converter effect is found under the utility category, and this does pretty much what you'd think it would, converts color profiles of whatever you apply it to. If you're not familiar, color profiles exist to contain and display color information from any image, whether it's a 3D render or a picture or video file. And this can get really complicated, but if you get into 3D rendering at all, you're definitely gonna wanna get familiar with it. I have this render here that I made in Cinema 4D using Redshift as my GPU renderer, and I rendered it in the ACES Color Profile workspace. The footage is an EXR file which holds a bunch of information for lots of different parts of my 3D render that composited together give me this final result. But if I right click on this and go into Interpret Footage Main, and we go to the Color Management tab, I have the color profile of sRGB assigned, and that is basically the profile of most screens. Your phone, computer, sRGB is generally what we're working in. Now, I also rendered this in 32 bits per channel, which means that it has way more color information than your standard 8-bit project, so I'm working in 32 bits per channel right here. But if you notice this thumbnail right up here, it looks very different than what I have over in my actual comp. If I go to my RGB composition and enable it, this is what came out of the render and showed up in After Effects. It's very washed out, very pale, it doesn't look all that great. And that's because After Effects isn't interpreting it correctly. But I used the Color Profile Converter along with some other effects to get it to look the way that I had it in Cinema 4D, as well as applying some various effects and color adjustments. So if I take off all of these adjustment layers except for this one right here, this is basically what the render looked like coming out of Redshift in Cinema 4D. But this is what it looked like coming into After Effects. So to get to this point, what I had to do was make this little preset adjustment layer that I named ACES CG to sRGB. Because ACES CG is the color space that it was rendered out as, but I wanna be working in sRGB in After Effects, and that's what I am currently doing. If I go to my color options, I'm working at 32 bits per channel, but in the working space of sRGB with linear color. So to get this render to look the way that it needed to, I had to use an effect called Open Color IO, which is a free plugin that translates ACES CG to sRGB. But then I also had to use a color profile converter to fix a weird gamma shift that happens inside of After Effects. So let me turn off both the color profile converter and Open Color IO. To remind you, this is how it looked coming from Cinema 4D, even though it looked very different in Cinema 4D. I applied the Open Color IO ACES to sRGB conversion, which still didn't look right, it's very washed out. But then I applied the Color Profile Converter effect. And the controls we have are an input profile, an output profile, intent, and scene referenced profile compensation. The way that I used it is by choosing the input profile, meaning what is the profile of this input footage. I know I said that it was ACES, but I used Open Color IO prior to this effect to convert it to sRGB. So I chose sRGB as my input profile. And then on the output profile, I also chose sRGB because that's what I wanted to be working in. But this effect allows me to linearize the output profile. And when I enable this, that linearize output profile checkbox is what fixes the weird gamma shift that happens inside of After Effects. And this image is an accurate representation of what I was seeing in my Redshift renderer inside of Cinema 4D. So that's one use case of the Color Profile Converter. Obviously, you don't have to be using this on top of 3D footage. You could use it with video footage from a camera that shoots in a specific workspace and again, convert it to something else like sRGB or any number of these color profiles that are just presets right here in Adobe software. Maybe you wanna to convert to Rec. 709, if that's what most televisions use. It's very similar to sRGB, but if you need to work in that color space, that's exactly what it's for. But the benefit of all of this is that you're still working in After Effects at whatever project working space you've set here for your entire project. So you can continue working in that workspace while converting to any other color space using this effect. Now I'm not gonna claim to be a color space expert. I've just learned a lot of this on my own as needed and only to the extent to get what I need to happen inside of After Effects. So I don't have that much knowledge on what these different intents actually mean. I read through the After Effects user guide and it's basically just different methods of translating the input profile to the output profile. And if you, like me, don't know much about this, I would encourage you to go check out the After Effects help file. Just go up to help and down to effect reference and you'll find the utility category. You can read all about the color profile converter. And you can do that with any effect. But hopefully you have a pretty good grasp on what this effect is used for now. And that's all for color profile converter.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.